Welcome everybody, this is the Gaming Recon, also known as the Puerto Rican Blur on Twitch. This is the first of a series of airplane review videos for Ace Combat 7. And today we're going to go over the F-104C Starfighter. And with that, we shall go over some of the base stats of this odd but endearing airplane. The F-104C Starfighter. Type, fighter bomber, length 54 feet 8 inches, crew, single pilot, height 13 feet 5 inches, wingspan 21 feet 9 inches, number of engines 1, power plant GE J79, armament 20mm Vulcan cannon and 2 A9 Sidewinder missiles. Year introduced 1958, last year operational 2004, top speed Mach 2.2, 1450 miles per hour and a range of 1,000 nautical miles. Designed by Clarence Kelly Johnson to surpass the MiG-15 fighters that appeared in the skies over North Korea, the F-104 Starfighter was something completely different. An inexpensive lightweight fighter with thin 7-foot wings that were sharp as the blade of a dagger. In short, it was the perfect NATO airplane. It would grow to include many other nicknames during its lifetime. The German Luftwaffe dubbed it the Widowmaker due to the amount of pilot deaths during the flight of this aircraft. The Starfighter made its initial flight in 1954 and it was the first aircraft to fly at the twice the speed of sound and held numerous airspeed and altitude records. It is now flown by various nations including Canada, West Germany, Italy, Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium, Taiwan, Japan, and several others. Several F-104 squadrons are still flying today with the Air Forces of Italy, but updated information shows that that stopped in 2004. One of the many features of this aircraft are the unique T-tail, which presented a unique problem of ejecting the pilot safely from the aircraft in case of an emergency. They feared that uh, the pilot would actually hit the tail. To combat the issue of a pilot ejecting vertically and hitting the T-tail, engineers came up with a downward firing ejection seat, known as the Stanley C-1. This presented obvious problems in low-altitude escapes, and 21 U.S. Air Force pilots lost their lives after failing to escape from their stricken aircraft. However, that was corrected by a vertical upward firing seat, which was capable of clearing the tail but it had a minimum speed limitation of 104 miles per hour. Its armament consisted of 20 millimeter Vulcan cannons. However, when it ejected the spent casings, the casings would hit the side of the aircraft and poke holes in it. Being prone also to misfeeding the ammunition and presenting a damage hazard. So now, basically, the cannon now stores all of its ammunition, spent or otherwise. Early versions of the AIM-9 Sidewinder were equipped as its air-to-air -air or infrared missiles. The F-104C and later models added a centerline pylon for bombs, rocket pods, and fuel tanks. Now one of the unique features is, is that the centerline pylon can also carry a nuclear weapon. Early starfighters were capable of carrying and launching a single MB-1 Genie rocket-propelled nuclear missile, and this configuration was tested on a single aircraft. The intro sequence with Avril where she test flies this aircraft after building it from a heap of scrap has her, has her pretty much describing it as a trash can with wings. We're about to go over now uh, some gameplay footage of me playing uh, the first mission in Ace Combat 7 as, uh, as the F-104C Starfighter. And with that, we'll have some Let's Play footage rolling shortly. What we are going to do now is play the first mission. I'm going to use the semi-active air-to-air missile. Um, and I'm going to arm it with that based upon the fact that there's enemy bombers in the game. And therefore, um, I can fire these and then they don't evade all that much. Now we're just going to probably uh, fly in the cockpit view and we are going to sortie the aircraft. Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Alrighty.
Now, based upon the research I did for this plane, apparently the pilots would have to get dangerously close to the end of the runway in order to make this thing take off because of its takeoff speed. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Base squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link all right, here we go. Hurry, main squadron. Now, obviously, we won't be playing the entire mission. I'll probably edit this down uh, to just this plane's footage and killing targets. Now, the cockpit, very, very 1950s or 1958 looking. I mean, it hasn't really evolved much, no modern avionics. Everything is uh, pretty much vacuum or pedostatic or with a, a digital radar display, a rather old one, right down the center. Take off and form up with page one. All right, so we're going to arm the semi-active air-to-air missiles. Already we're at like 1,700 meters per second, approaching maximum speed of this aircraft stock, and we should be able to intercept that bomber in short order. There it is. Still not done going as fast as I possibly can. This thing just loves to speed. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. I'm still they accelerating. Escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the still worst accelerating. to stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger. I'm, I'm gonna have to cut in. my speed to make the turn. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. Alright. We're just gonna keep pouring on that thrust. Good job, Major. Even though it's fast, it takes a Not while bad, to get up Major. there. Maybe if I level the wings Trigger. and get to that Switch speed faster. Radar. Now I gotta turn to engage this bomber here. And then we'll try to get the fighter next to it. And that's the fact that I'm climbing, the air density is lower up here. So, that's going to prevent me from accelerating. They're way overhead. Now let's see how it does with standard air-to-air -air missiles and its maneuverability against the MiG-21. As you can see, we any other plane we would have been using... Would have, uh, see, and again, the large turn radius, as it takes me forever to get back and slow down enough to get behind this bomber again. Got it. Now we're going to have to try to engage enemy fighters, and that's where the biggest downfall of this plane comes in. Um, in a straight line, it's great. Turning, especially with something like the Mi-21, can't do it. You might as well kill them as they're coming head on to you because you're not going to outturn them. You're going to have to slow down so much you might stall. And therefore, the aircraft stability comes into question. But as far as getting somewhere quick, well, it's a great plane for that. Especially early on in the game, since you unlock this, I think, after you complete the Mission 4. And you're able to purchase it. Or I think you're giving it for free. You know what? It's really hard for me to remember. I should probably research that. Now you gotta keep the target in the circle for these missiles to work. Mage two, target down. Alright, we're gonna. That's it. That's right. That's it. Alright. Now we have to go down. for the fighters again. Going, Mage two. Still Mage turning. Two. Still turning. Go, Still kid. turning. Still turning. That was a 360 degree turn, and I still don't manage to not make it. Now they're behind me. Oh, their trigger, settle down. Mage two, maintain your element with Mage one. Do not break off. Mage one, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Welcome. Golem two, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. And that's where the speed actually becomes a disadvantage, because now i got to stand here pretty much idly waiting for the bomber to pass, so I can reacquire it. Golem, Mage, two new enemy groups. There it is. Look at I don't even have the throttle on. This is HQ. Attention all combat groups. All right, so now we're going to try to see what the maximum speed of this plane is stop and see if we can get it up there. Should have enough room. We'll put it in a dive to help it get there faster. All right, here we go. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. 2400. 2500, 2600, 2616 maximum speed of meters, an hour, uh, kilometers an hour. Well, I hope 
you enjoyed that, and um, I hope to make many more of these. Uh, I forgive the quality of this. I'm using software I've never used before, and uh, I haven't done something like this in quite a long time. Uh, there will be more to come, especially with the Ace Combat series and other video games I haven't been playing. But catch me as PR Blur one on Twitch for live broadcasts of gameplay and just general chit-chat. And for that, thank you, and have a great night.